Hey, 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 greetings and welcome to another video. Today we're playing Civilization 6, so let's have some fun. But if you close your eyes, From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. The marriage of science and religion is a delicate balancing act, but one that you have mastered, Saladin. Your quest for knowledge is noble, and your people have a deep respect for you. But you need not rush into the unknown. Given time, the answers to life's most puzzling questions will find their way back to Arabia. Welcome back to another Civ 6 series. First off, I want to thank you if you watch my Japan series because that was what inspired me to do another one of these. Um, the positive feedback of you guys was immense and it really inspired me to do another one. And as you can see, this time we're playing as Saladin with the Arabian Empire. So let's take a look at our traits. Um, we have Righteousness of the Faith, which gives uh, the worship building for their religion can be purchased by any player for just one tenth of the usual faith cost. This worship building is enhanced to add 10% to the science, faith and culture output of Arabian cities. Um, we have the Lost Prophet. Automatically receive the final Great Prophet when the next to last one is claimed, if you have not earned a Great Prophet already, and plus one science for each foreign city following Arabia's religion. We have the Mamluk and the Madrasa, which is a, um, a building that generates extra faith and um, science when placed next to a campus, I believe. Um, well, that's it. Let's just begin. So, as you can probably imagine, um, by the, pick, uh, the choice of this sieve, I'm going to be a bit more religious this time. Last time we didn't really did anything with religion, so um, t uh, this this time I actually wanted to sort of include that. On the Dead sea shore, all ashes to the taste. And about these little things, these little uh, spoken commentaries, um, please leave a comment. If you like it, if I, I'm just gonna play um, the recorded recorded voice, uh, if you like it, and otherwise I'll just click it away. Um, it, you know, the recorded voice is cool, the quotes are cool, um, but it also takes a lot of time to just let, let them play, and it, you know, it sometimes, well, a lot of times interrupts with my own commentary, which is not as great as the comments, of, uh, which is not as great as the quotes, of course. Um, <laughs> But if you would love me to just keep on playing, then just um, make sure that um, that you uh, tell me that in the comments, because I will definitely uh, take a look into that. So we found uh, the Dead Sea, which is a natural wonder, which gave us a, um, a uh, Eureka towards astrology, which is uh, quite nice. That's, that's the one, one you don't really get that many times. And let's start off with the Scout, just really easily. Let's choose our research. So astrology is now um, half the price of, nor uh, of the normal uh, amount, and um, I will show you my settings um, next. Um, let's choose. Let's see. We have a stone. We have lots of salt, which is great. And we require mining. So let's just go and get mining then. I will show you my settings here. Um, we're playing a cell, and we're playing on the Emperor difficulty. Um, on the quick game speed and we're playing on a Pangea map with two other civilizations um, of which I do not know which one uh, which ones that will be um, So it, it, it's gonna be a surprise and we're gonna have to adapt to whatever comes to our uh, comes our way And we found another continent because the uh, inspiration for um, For foreign trade which is great uh, also one that you don't get that often in my opinion and we're gonna keep our warrior close because we know about barbarians uh, at this point. And if you watch my um, my last series playing as Japan, we had some problems with uh, barbarians in the beginnings. Um, you just go and automate automatic explore. So we have some mountains, which is really nice because I want to be not only more religious in this game, but also a bit more sciency. Um, let's go. Let's go slinger to defend our cities. Uh, because last time we um, 
we actually we were lacking in science like the entire game and the um on emperor ai the uh yeah the um the opponents get a bonus to science more credit than the wife of a coal miner. and um that means that if they get a bonus then you're pretty much behind from the beginning and you need to focus immediately on it if you want to you know be back into the game at like the middle ages or something like that and um it's very important um to to actually stay on top of that game um because science it gives a lot of advantages uh, as you can see we just picked pottery because i saw some uh, weed over here and i want also want to have the granary as a building available in the town um pretty soon and we found a tribal village over here so let's grab it and we are granted another scout which is pretty good let's just go and scout the more we see and the more we know about the world it not only gives you score man is the noblest of all animals separated from law and justice he is the worst so it not only gives gives you score the um the exploring but it also gives you knowledge which is pretty good and you can find these little goody huts um so our first um um culture uh research is done so we can change our policies uh let's go for the fighting against barbarians because well normally at this point i already have seen some barbarians um now we've didn't but i'm pretty sure that they will come i'm not gonna go for faith and gold because we have enough gold and faith we will get the great profit uh, automatically um when it's the last one because we're arabia so let's just go for production uh, let's choose another civic. Uh, let's go for foreign trade. And what should we do now? We could we could go and try to claim this area right away and get a nice science boost because of the mountains. This is a nice mountain ridge. It gives a lot of defense from that side. Um, where on the map are we? Yeah, this is still this is the corner of the map. So, hmm, still. Let, no, let's go with monument first and you should you should just defend uh, you just explore and let's continue yep must feel happy in the good potter's hand so there are the barbarians um which is uh yeah there are two scouts could mean that they're is two camps i think uh there's one scout per camp but i'm actually not sure about that i don't really know um let's go should we go riding already now let's just get the first um the first three um starting tags let's let's do that so we have unlocked everything and we should go to archery pretty soon so let's do animal husbandry and there they go let's get this scout out of here we don't want him to um, run back what does the Dead Sea give you plus two culture and two faith two tile natural one it appears as a lake and provides plus two faith and plus two culture and fresh water units heal completely if they heal for one turn adjacent to the Dead Sea oh man that's a great wonder somewhere over wait 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 there's a sieve over here we need to prioritize this area right now and yep we're in trouble we found the aztecs which are a um a safe that is most likely to um start wars in the early age so let's try and keep them friendly as long as we can and we have um, got the Eureka out towards riding. That's really good. That's really good. And they are over here. Now, who is this? We're pretty closed in. It's a tiny map. I know that. But a tiny map is normally for four players. And I made... Um, I, I chose to have two other opponents. So we're with three, three sieves on a map for four players. Um, I did that on purpose because I wanted to have a little bit of... Um, uh, of room to expand and for the AI to expand but 
If we are this close, then... Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. <laughs> I like the quotes again. I said it in my last series, but they're they're really fun. And let's go for the writing. Let's see if we can pump out some science. We found a city state. Musket. What do they give us? Plus four gold, plus four gold in every commercial hub. And another four gold in every... This is if you want to get rich. But what's, what is their unique bonus? Plus one immunity in cities with, with a commercial hub. This, that's a pretty good one. Because commercial hubs are great for any city. Let's do it. Let, let's try and get them on our side. Do they have influence by the Aztec? Yeah, of course, they're right next to it. So Let's see, what's their mission? Train a spearman. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not there yet. We should get a settler out and colonize this area somewhere before they do. You. Let's just, you know, walk that way. Keep exploring. Every nation lives by exchanging. So we got the trader. We, uh, I don't want any of these right now. This one's might be good for later on. Um, and this one might be good for later on, but not for now. Well, only it's, oh, it's naval units. Never mind. Um, so no, we're not going to change our policies. And let's see. The improved three tiles we're going to have the Eureka for, or inspiration, sorry, for um, pretty soon. Because we're going to build a builder next, I guess. So let's just go for this one. I'm not sure if we can reach a Pantheon uh, soon, so. We don't generate any faith, so probably not. Or we need to find a goodie hut with faith in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's heal up here. It's very mountainous over here. Good for production. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. So we found writing, which unlocks the campus and the library district. So this is the first step to actually getting some extra science online. And we're gonna need that. Like I said, I wanna be more sciencey this time. We need irrigation to uh, uh, improve this luxury resource. Uh, yeah, we we have mining for the salt, which is great. Um, we could also go to astrology and go for the holy site. Mm, no, we're gonna build up our campuses first. Let's go irrigation and then astrology. And the Aztecs have another city. Yeah, see? And this is another civilization, which I haven't found yet. Where is my other scout? My other scout is over here. Hmm. And we met another city-state. It's Candy, which is a religious one, which is okay. Um, we got plus two faith in the capital from it. And we are the first to find it, so we got an, uh, a uh, bonus envoy. That's, because, that's why we got this. Um, their unique bonus is receive a relic every time you discover a new natural wonder and earn plus 50 fate from all relics. It's a good one on a big map, but on this map there's probably like two, maybe three national wonders and we already found one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to invest in that. But the religious uh, points are nice. As I said, I want to be a li little bit more religious this game. Let's actually see if um, he wants our delegation. No. Let's see what he has. He has horses, he has two cities. Yeah. And he feels... Let's, let's check this out. He feels unfriendly. Minus four for an unknown reason. I'm not sure this is going to be great. Well, I just said that he doesn't think greatly of us and now he actually likes us a little bit. Well, at least in this um, quote he does. Let's see what what was the um, actual f thing. What, why? Yeah, we're neutral now. Plus 12, plus 12 for unknown reasons. 
Um, could be that we have the same government or something like that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's just see. I'm hoping we can keep, uh, be friends with him long enough to the point that we are um, we already have an immunity problem. Jeez. We are true friends with the smaller civilizations. We appreciate it. Yeah, he thinks of us as a small civilization, so that's not great. But in this uh, in this game, he actually likes civilizations that are smaller than him. The mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Well, that's it for today. Feel free to comment and leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Also, subscribe if you haven't and check out my Twitter and Facebook pages. The links are down in the description. It really helps me out a lot when you guys do that. If you want to support me, then please check out my Patreon page. It's also down there. You can get some cool rewards for helping me out, like sneak peeks and a vote in future projects. As always, I've been Hipbone, you've been yourself, thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.